What's up, y'all? Y'all know what it is. Back with some more free game. Like, comment, subscribe below. Press that post notification bell. Let's get right to the video. Hopping right into it. Today, we're here to discuss why men and women cheat. I'm tired of you messing around on me, Jody. You feel me? Now, because women, men and women are very different. You feel me on many levels. You feel me? Now, we, we got a dick, and you know what they got between their legs. And what the, what they have between their legs control the fucking world. You feel me? The power of the pussy, you cannot underestimate that shit, bro. You feel me? I done made plenty of videos. By now, y'all should understand how much a woman's vagina controls the world. As far as men goes with dating, relationships, blase, blase. Unless you're alpha male, then the shit really don't affect you to an extreme level as much as it does with simps and betas. You feel me? You got beta male simps buying only fans. You feel me? Spending thousands of dollars on women who don't give a fuck about them. But that besides the point, why man and woman cheat? Now, on one end, we got women. Very complicated creatures. Very um, unrealistic creatures. I'm not here to offend either side. I'm just keeping it 100. You feel me? Women don't really take accountability for their actions. And overall, women, they just difficult to deal with. You feel me? They are emotional. They really don't see a man's side of things. They really can't put themselves in a man's shoes. On the other end, we got men. While we do have our flaws, overall, you feel me? We simple creatures. We not really that complicated as women. You feel me? Males, we sluts by nature. If we can be, you feel me? If a man can fuck 100 bitches a year, trust and believe they would. Who don't got no bitch? But a lot of y'all don't have a charm, charisma, game, or seduction to be able to just fuck 100 bitches. So you will never do this shit in your lifetime. A lot of men won't even hit 100 bitches in their lifetime. Get alone in the year. You feel me? Now, a woman, on the other hand, they're sluts by choice. Oh, she belongs to the streets. They either push to be a slut, you feel me, or they're sluts by choice. Like I said, a female, they're not sluts by nature. Some women are just naturally sluts, but all in all, most women are. The reason why I say that is, I'm going to start with men. The, number, the reason why men cheat, you feel me, it's really simple. It's because we can. You feel me? A lot of the times, males, when we first start... A lot of the times we begin to talk to a woman, bro, we have a scarcity mindset. What do I mean by a scarcity mindset? When I first start talking to this bitch, bro, my intentions are to get her pussy. My intentions are sex, intimacy. You feel me? My intentions are relationship at first. All men want sex. Now, some woman pushes a man to want her beyond sex. That's all I'm saying. All men want sex, but sometimes women... Sometimes the bond y'all interactions with us, you feel me? You show us that you're a high quality woman and that you worth more than just your pussy. You worth more than just a one night stand, blow jobs, you sucking my dick till your fucking face turn purple. You worth more than that. You feel me? You higher on, on the totem pole. So the reason why I say that is um naturally a man is in a scarcity mindset. Majority of men, it's a small percentage of men are actually alphas. So the reason why I say this, when we first get with a woman, bro, if we meet a girl who we really like, sometimes we just want to stay sluts. We just want to stay single, fuck around. But at the same time, we don't want her to stay single and fuck around. What? Uh, because we are developing emotional attachment to this woman, so we, re we really can't see her being with another man. Plain and simple. So what we'll do is, we we'll get with this girl, you feel me, in the facade, creating an illusion between ourselves and that woman that we actually just want to be with her. You feel me? And the only reason that we cuff at her, committing to her, is to, is to stop her from getting other dicks in her life. It's to stop her from meeting another man and dating new dudes. You feel me? That's the only reason. We just want to keep doing our dirt while blocking her from having other male options. Plain and simple. Whether she's beautiful, whether we done got pussy with, whatever the case may be. You feel me? Us, us men are sluts by nature, so a lot of men... We get with women and we really don't want to commit. We just want to stop her from dealing with other people. And then we end up being sloppy because, man, we really can't cheat. We're not really that good at it. Good at it. I can teach y'all how to be good at it, but I'm not. that's not really my point in my channel. A lot of men, you feel me, y'all really don't cover y'all tracks. Y'all really don't think things through and cheating, you feel me? So y'all get with women with no intentions of being faithful, end up getting caught, you feel me? And then, so the reason why men aren't faithful Plain and simple is because in the beginning, we we never really had a motive or an intention to actually settle down and just commit to this one person. We just didn't want her fucking with other people. So the relationship was done from the beginning. You feel me? The shit was going to be toxic from the start type shit. Now, on the other end with men, you feel me? The reason why we cheat is just for the simple fact 
it also, I forgot to mention this. So the scarcity mindset comes into play that you you scared to tell her that you just, you really don't want a relationship because if you tell her that, it's a chance she might leave. So instead of telling her that I'm dating around, I'm seeing other people, but I really don't want anything serious. You tell her you want to uh, get a relationship, then you be you begin a, a monogamous relationship with this woman. You feel me? Things progress, and then y'all just end up catching feelings for each other. And now she believes that it's something real when it's really not. You feel me? Because your scarcity mindset allows you to... Your scarcity mindset makes you to just settle down with her to keep her from talking to other people because you're scared of losing her. You feel me? Anything that's coming from scarcity is a fear of loss. Plain and simple. Also, man in general, you feel me? A man in our mindset, you feel me? We actually, man, we, we we don't get as much options as women. You feel me? We don't, we don't, we can't post a dick pic. We can't post a, a picture in our gray sweatpants, us fresh out the gym. You feel me? Us with our fucking pets out and our fucking uh, six pack abs, us flexing our biceps and shit. You feel me? But we can't post that picture and get fifty bitches in our inbox. A woman can. So from that, just put on, put you on some free game. Woman won't man who other woman won't. A uh, man is more sexier. You feel me? She sees as more handsome. A woman is more drawn to men who has options and who are able to pull other women. You feel me? A man who has no options is less sexier. Even if he is highly attractive to her, you will be more attractive if you can pull bitches. And from you getting in a relationship, a woman is attracted to you. That's why a lot of times, you feel me? Because she sees that you can uh, uh, pull another woman and keep her interest and uh, attracted high keep her interest and her attraction high over a long period of time so women see this and now they want to hop on your wave now they want to be on your team they want to be team cash free game you feel me because they see that you can do it with another woman now from now from this is like a man it's hard for a man to turn down some pussy because we really don't get a lot of options anyways females they have men hitting on them all day every day man we don't have it whether whether y'all want to believe it or not the alpha males do you feel me? The man, the ten percent man who are desirable, who are, who are highly attractive, have game. They do, but majority of men don't. So by the time you get in a relationship, now you like this girl, but you getting other girls hitting hitting on you. You got girls sending you choosing signals. You got bitches pretty much trying to get things started with you sexually, intimately. You feel me? It's hard to turn that down because as men, we really don't get that many options, and we really don't have women. Pretty much sending send us choosing signals while single. But now that we have a girl, now that we actually with a woman, a woman is more drawn to us now because she see that we can pretty much maintain a, a, a one girl's attraction. You feel me? Now, now she want to fuck with us. So from there, it's like, it's hard for men to turn down pussy, bro. You feel me? It's hard for the average guy who really maybe fuck uh, five, six girls a year. It's hard for that guy to turn down pussy when it's getting thrown at him. Well, he's not used to that. You feel me? So that's the re two reasons why men cheat. We not used to women just throwing pussy at us, and it's hard to just turn it down when a girl come to us with the intentions of giving us sex, uh, uh, being a side girl to us. It's hard to turn that shit down, bro. We men. You feel me? It's our, in our nature to be sluts. It's in a woman's nature to be hypergamous. I'm going to go into that a little bit later, but a male is naturally a slut. When we see a girl that we like, we see thick thighs and fat asses and titties and a cute, pretty face, and she giving us true signals. It's hard to turn that shit down when we don't really usually get that many options. We get that many girls just hitting on us because we got to do all the pursuing. That's number one. Now, the next one, I didn't really even expect this video to be uh, this long. It's been eight minutes, well, nine minutes. Now, I didn't expect this video to be this long. I'm going to try and sum this up as quick as I can. The reason why women cheat, you feel me? No, this is going to be a big one, bro, because the two I can think of off the top of my head, I didn't take any notes today. I'm going off the top of my head, so everything I'm saying is coming off the dome. A woman cheats because lack of excitement or she's with the beta male. You feel me? Why do I say that? It's two scenarios where a woman going to cheat. For one, women are attracted to strength, not weakness. Women are attracted to a confident alpha male who leads by example. He leads the relationship. He leads her to places. You feel me? He basically the dominant one. You feel me? So a lot of the times, a woman might get with the man in the beginning. He's confident. He's an alpha. Over time, he start getting pussy whipped. He getting used to fucking her every day. You feel me? He getting comfortable. And then he pretty much started to lose a little bit of his alphaness. Now, what did I say? Women are attracted to strength. 
So over time, once you lose a little bit of your alphaness, you start being less smooth. You're not really keeping that sexual intensity throughout the relationship. You're not smacking a bitch on the ass. You're not pretty much making your girl feel, feel feminine and submissive anymore. You feel me? From there, it's like a woman isn't attracted to weakness. And since you're losing your alphaness, now you're displaying weakness. You feel me? And since you're displaying weakness, the chase, she really don't got to chase you anymore. You feel me? The chase is gone. So now she needs some excitement. You feel me? You might be a good, you might uh, provide good validation now, but she need that excitement. And that's what alpha males provide. You feel me? So from there, it's like she's, she's, she starts to get bored. You feel me? She started to shit test a lot. She started, that's when the attitude will come back. You feel me? Because the only, only way that a woman will have an attitude, that, that's one of the things that, that really turns a man off is a girl's bad attitude. You feel me? A lot of times it's just her shit testing you. That's just her testing your strength subconsciously she don't even know why she got an attitude which she don't know why she tested you she don't know why she being a, a bitch you feel me and just bitching at you and complaining or you it's, it's either you allowing it you feel me or you already a beta and she just can't help but to be, be like that with you but say you are an alpha you feel me she'll start to act like a bitch arguing with you complaining about little shit you feel me now or even she she'll start to just test you once you start losing your alphaness and now that that excitement is gone because over time you got pussy whipped, you letting her get away with shit. You're not really checking her that much. You're not really being a masculine man. You spending too much time with her. You feel me? You being too available and you pretty much being clingy with your woman. Every All the tendencies of a beta male. You want to check her phone now. You feel me? In the beginning, you was an alpha. You was able to have strength. But with us men, you feel me? Over time, when we start to catch feelings for a woman. You feel me, my guy? When we start to develop feelings, when we start to get an attachment to a woman, then we become emotionally vulnerable. That's why I tell you how to have a social life so that you can be able to spend some time away from her. You feel me? So that you can be able to get her some of her space. A woman needs space. So when you start to push too much on her, when you start to check her phone, be insecure, start showing jealous tendencies, this starts to push her into her masculine energy and push you and your feminine energy. You feel me? And the woman, naturally, she's att attracted to strength. So she can't be around the fucking pussy whipped ass man who can't really check her no more, provide that sexual intensity, be romantic with her, you feel me? But in an alpha way, she can't stay that long because you start to get boring. She needs she needs that excitement from somewhere. She needs that bad boy energy. I'm not saying you got to be a thug, dope boy, selling fucking bricks. You feel me? I'm saying that you got to be a dominant, confident man. That's the bad boy. That's why women love bad boy. You feel me? So now from here... A woman seeks that from other places. You feel me? She needs that excitement from somewhere. She needs a man to make her feel submissive. So now, you feel me? She's starting to pull away. Now she's starting to give you less sex. Now she's starting to be a little less affectionate with you. Now she's giving you less blowjobs. She's not really sucking your dick with passion. She's she giving you beta male blowjobs. Blowjobs where she just doing it because uh, she's not doing it because she want to do it. She's doing it because she know you want her to do it. You feel me? She not sucking your dick till her fucking face turn purple, fucking jaw jawbone falling off. You feel me? She's not providing that submissive um, affection to you that a woman naturally does when she likes you and has high high attraction and high interest. You feel me? So from here, she starts to lose attraction and interest, and she seeks it from somewhere else. She belongs to the streets. Another another alpha male. You feel me? A man who provides that dominance. A man who give her give her that excitement. You feel me? So that's that's the first reason why. Man, over time, he started to lose his strength. He started to get a little weak. You feel me? And now she's starting to pull away her affection, her sex, because she, need, she needs to get that from somewhere. Woman, woman can't be with a weak man. A woman can't... A bitch, she can't fuck with a nigga, you feel me, who don't make her feel submissive and feminine. Who don't make her feel all that... Get that tingly, girly feeling. You feel me? She needs that shit. Another one... You just a beta male, plain and simple. You feel me? Like I said before, a woman need validation. And also they need that excitement, the sexual intensity. They need that alpha masculine energy. You feel me? Sometimes bitches just be bored. Now, I tell y'all, y'all shouldn't push the relationship. Sometimes girls, they just want to keep having their fun. They want to be a city girl. They want to be a hoe and just fuck around, date around. She belongs to the streets. They end up getting with a beta male because they bored. You feel me? Now, this is the man who really, in the beginning, he's showing her that he a beta male. He's he not really that smooth. Or maybe he might be smooth, but he's just a weak man. He let the woman take charge. And 
she'll get with you and in the back of her mind, she knows she gonna need some of that alpha energy. She need a confident man. So she end up fucking with you, bro. You provide the love, the stability, you feel me, that financial uh, support, the validation, you make her feel good, but she still need that excitement, that dominance. You feel me, a bitch, so she gonna fuck with you, or maybe maybe you, you just not fucking her good, you feel me, you not, you, you not fucking her, you making love. You feel me, always we fuck bitches, we, we fuck bitches, we, we blow their backs out. You feel me? It's the difference between fucking a girl and having sex. And she needs that from somewhere. You do too much of a beta male simp. You let her walk all over. You not checking her. You feel me? And this, nah, a lot, like I said, a man is an alpha. Men who are naturally alphas, if you become emotionally vulnerable over time, you start to turn into a simp. So from here, it's like for a man who's naturally beta, you feel me? Since he's becoming weaker over time, you feel me? She needs to get that from somewhere. So whereas the alpha, you feel me, he was already smooth, he was already seductive, he was already charming, he was already confident and dominant, you feel me, it's just he lost over time with the beta, a, a woman will get with you because she knows that you also, you're going to provide her that love and you're going to pretty much, you naive, you feel me, you a blue pill, so you're really naive, so you're not really privy, you're not really knowledgeable to the fact that what she's telling you and what she's doing is two different things. She telling you she girl she going to uh, girls night, but really she letting Pookie and Rayway fuck the shit out of her because she can't really fully submit to you. You feel me? Woman make rules for the alpha for the betas and break them for the alphas. She gets she gets with you, and she she knows that you can't really make her feminine and submissive. She's taking charge. She's the one. She always screaming at you, yelling at you. She always arguing. You feel me? She pretty much the, the man in the relationship, and from there she needs an alpha male. She needs somebody dominant. So on the side, she gonna have her alpha male, the, the good dick man, the man who brings that excitement. You can't, maybe, maybe you can bring that excitement, but you don't have enough um, alphaness about you to make her submit. And that's the only thing a woman cannot be fully faithful and loyal to a beta male, bro. She can't do it. She can't be with the man who can't make her submit. So she'll get with you. Some girls know in the back of their mind. Some girls like that shit. They like being a superior dominant one. You feel me? And in, in the back of her mind, she knows she's going to have an alpha on the side who's fucking the shit out of her. You feel me? Taking her in parks, fucking her in the back of his truck and shit. So that's the difference, bro. Man in the beginning, like I said, also female, I forgot to mention this one, female hypergamy also. A, a woman hypergamous nature is a day up. So she's with a lot of times you can be providing all that shit I just named. But if she find a better option, she will leave and she will pretty much claim to that new this this new dick. If, if you have this amount of money and she needs to man with more money, I know y'all have seen all these fucking gold digger pranks where bitches leave their boyfriend for a nigga with a Lamborghini, Maserati. If you have clout, money, or higher attraction, anything that pretty much holds more value, it can be a man with a better personality. A woman hypergamous her a woman hypergamous nature makes her date up. You feel me? So from this, it's like. If she find a man who, who she perceives as a better option, she will go with that man. So either she views you as a beta male, you feel me? And she just needs, she just can't be with your weak ass all the time. So she needs some of that alpha energy. And maybe she been cheating on you and you know, and you caught her cheating, but you ain't really do shit. Oh, she going to stay with you and she just going to use you for her emotional support and have the, the, the uh, dominant alpha on the side. So... Either hypergamy, a woman always want to date up, find a better option. You a beta or you an alpha, and then you just turn weak over time. Got pussy with. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe below. See y'all later. This is the reason why men and women cheat. I'm out.